One thing I've noticed with technical writers, including myself, is that all we usually tend to think about is the end user. We fail to realize that as much as our end users, the readers of our articles, as much as they are beneficiaries of what we write, we are also beneficiaries. Now, what do I mean by this? When we write articles, we tend to think, is this good enough? Will people enjoy reading this? Will people feel like I've read this somewhere else before? Is this comprehensive enough? Is this simple enough? All we are thinking about is from the perspective of our readers their own benefits that we fail to realize that we are also beneficiaries now don't get me wrong when we write articles it is important to take into account your readers there are several benefits of technical writing some of which applies to the readers of your articles but a good number of benefits of technical writing also applies to you as a writer number one the more you write, the better you learn how to write. Some people read my articles and they say it's very nice, it's simple to understand. But I also have to say that four years ago when I started writing technical articles, my articles were not as clear or as concise or as good as this. It's been a journey and consistently writing and writing, of course also receiving feedback from people, I have gotten better. So even if in the last four years my readers didn't enjoy my articles, as much as I expected them to enjoy it, I have also grown a lot as a writer, which is why I say you are also a beneficiary. Another benefit is the more you write, it also improves your grammar. You get to learn new words, new ways to use phrases, new ways to combine paragraphs together. Another benefit, which is I think number three now, you also get to grow a portfolio of articles. I've seen a couple of people reach out to me and say they want to get side with technical writing and they want to start applying for technical writing gigs and one thing i tell them is you don't even have a backlog of articles that you can use as a portfolio when applying to jobs so instead of focusing on jobs right now i would advise that you can focus on actually building a portfolio and this is where technical writing comes in apart from the fact that your articles can benefit your readers it is also a way for you to grow a portfolio that you can use that portfolio you to apply for jobs to secure opportunities for anything one more benefit i'm just going to share for in this video you also get to learn a lot on different topics on different concepts on whatever you're writing about and this is a personal story that i share a lot with different people there are some topics i want to write articles on where i feel like i know this topic 90 percent i can research the remaining 10 percent now in the process of researching i get to realize that i just know the topic probably 70 percent or 70 5% and now I get to learn a lot more about that topic even before writing. As much as you take into account your readers, don't forget you are also benefiting from technical writing. There is a tweet someone made which I would like to highlight. This person said, used to get intimidated by materials already out there but now I'm more motivated by what I would learn while researching. So writing pays off for me, the article itself is just an icing on the cake. This is something that I have struggled with in the past, this is something I know a couple of people have struggled with where they feel like what else do i want to write that is new there are a bunch of articles out there our readers are going to see this and be like i've seen this somewhere else before oh there are 500 articles already existing on this before i've actually made a video where i talked about even if articles already exist you can still write i'll link it in the video description so of course that shouldn't hold you back because there are still some of your readers who may not have seen that article but not just that even if all your readers have all seen that article writing that article can also benefit you i don't know if you've heard of the saying that says to teach something is to learn that thing twice i can tell you that i have really grown so much in my technical career because of my passion to teach you might write an article that benefits your readers and benefits you you might write another article that might not benefit your readers but it will still benefit you you are the constant beneficiary sorry you are the constant benefactor. I think that's the word. I hope this video encourages you or inspires you to start writing and stop holding yourself back because you're only thinking about your users. I also have another video where I talked about five benefits of technical writing. It should be somewhere on the screen, left or right. I'm not sure. You can check it out. And I hope that this video, as well as the more videos, check out my channel. I hope this encourages your technical writing journey. Peace.